Hey, welcome back to the Zeicha Lift. I'm Juan. I'm Victor. Wait, Zeicha wait, Lift. Whoa, whoa, we're part of this. Lift. Whoa, 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 whoa! It's what? Oh yeah, it's H. Uh, <laughs> whoa. Oh whoa, man. Whoa. whoa Hell Sports and Hispanics. No, yes. Formerly known as Zeicha yes. Lift. Yes. Whoa. How did you not catch? Now you that? can still catch us on some of these other platforms, <laughs> like YouTube. Yeah. As Hell Sports and Hispanics. Yeah. The hell it just rolled off the tongue. That's why. We yeah. Been, no, like, I was like, wait, that didn't sound right. Yeah. You can find us on on Hell Sports and Hispanics on YouTube. You can find us on Instagram. You can find us on Facebook. I think that one you still have it as a hell lift. Yeah, but I'm gonna change it sometime today or tomorrow. Okay, Twitter. You can find it. You can find me on Twitter. Um, all the links to everything are listed in the descriptions, um, as well as a little bit of what the podcast is about, and. Juanito.lehalift.1 at gmail. And Victor.lehalift at gmail. Now we gotta change our emails too. Got nah. Le- you got Lehalift on there. I'm gonna keep it. <laughs> it's all good. Alrighty. Um, you can find us on those platforms. Um, and yeah, let's see where are we starting off with the uh, men's basketball Olympics. They're still doing work. Yeah, I think they were, what is the top they 16 just, now? They just beat the Greek team. Earlier. Oh, did they? Today? Yeah. The Greek, they'd be Giannis now? Yeah, the Giannis. They're still brothers, right? Yeah, Giannis. And he has a, a lesser known brother. Yeah, he's a, a great value version of him. Yeah. He's younger, I think, Who, so that's What okay. team is he with? Greece. I don't know, but N- NBA. Oh, wait, his brother? Yeah. He was with the Mavericks, unless they like, got rid of him, but he was with the Mavericks. He was with the Mavericks? Yeah, he was with the Mavericks. He might, unless they moved him or something that I haven't heard of. Uh, but yeah, he's the Mavericks. Well, that's a good team to be on right now. Yeah, yeah, definitely. It's it's an up and coming team for sure, young team. And uh, well, Giannis obviously with the Bucks, still hanging on to that MVP. Yeah. Did amp up. Yeah, I think. Well, what is it now? They were top sixteen. Now, what is it like? If they're in the final, like, I have no eight idea. Teams, since I'm assuming that eight of them got eliminated. That's a good question. They haven't really been as exciting to watch because it's kind of been like a not so USA team as we're used to, but you know, yeah, it's still been fun. Yeah, um, definitely not like the blowouts that they were having before, <laughs> but um, yeah, I mean, it's still like good up and coming players that you can watch that are are still valuable to the NBA. They're just not like your first stringers or second stringers, I guess. Maybe like a third string All NBA. I guess there is. I mean, no, I mean, the, I mean, the, a lot of them are starters on NBA teams. Or just yeah, but I guess but, just but a bunch like of the young NBA All Stars. Yeah, yeah. They're yeah. like your third string NBA All Stars. Yeah, team. I guess so. Like second, third strings or lower. Will, but I mean, but but, but, I, but I like them. I like that. I like the team. I think it's a good team. It's obviously they're all like half of them are like twenty five or younger. So they're yeah, that's younger, solid so. right there. Yeah. Get a lot of young blood getting getting reps in. What is the oldest one, like Kemba Walker in like t- at like 29 or something like that? <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, that's still kind of old, but... Well, yeah. Not but, really old, but... Not old, but just NBA old, I guess, or sports old. Getting up there. I guess reaching like the... The, um... The, the plateau of his, of his peak. Yeah, yeah. If you will. Yeah, I think that's all we got on basketball going on. Derek yeah. White's still doing well. Yeah. And then you still got, uh... Patty Mills playing. Oh, yeah. I think, right? For, yeah, for Australia. Yeah, and then you go to Zeke Elliott from there. We're going oh, to yeah. football. Bay, number Zeke one paid running his, back. Honestly, when he got drafted, I was uh, well, in, our, in our fantasy. I was like, man, you made a mistake. I think it was like third pick or fourth pick. I don't know. Maybe. I think it was third because I was second. I got Kamara and then Saquon. I really didn't think it was going to get Saquon. I thought he was going to pass him up because he always gets Aaron oh, Rodgers oh, first. Yes. Yeah. He always gets Aaron Rodgers, and I was like, oh, it's, I don't know it's why. an easy pick. So That's I was like, stupid. you know what, he's going to pick Aaron Rodgers first, and I'm going to get Saquon. But for the first time, he made a good move, and he picked, oh, man, he picks. I was so mad about that. But you know what, I get Kamara, I can't be mad, I can't be mad. Um, yeah. I w- I and s- Zeke went third, and I was like, no, that was a stupid pickup. There's no way he's going to sign, and he got he got his deal. Yeah. Um, yeah, my, I like my, my team. It ain't bad. Who do you, who, well, I guess we'll go on to fantasy football from here, huh? Yeah. Oh, let's throw in a little side note on AB. Oh, yeah, Patriots. Yeah, he, that's that's dangerous. He just, yeah, that is dangerous. That's dangerous, man. You got Tom Brady and probably, what, top three receiver in the league? Yeah, he's probably going to get thrown out again or get kicked out of the Patriots in a week. Probably. Okay, for man. not having his helmet. Yeah. Or not getting Bel- enough Belichick's passes. not going to play no shit. Not getting his passes thrown to him. Because yeah. they also got Josh Gordon back. 
Yeah. And, you know, Julian Edelman, they got they got killer offense. Yeah, but you're not going to tell me any of those guys are better than Brown. Right. They're not terrible, but don't get me, right. don't get me wrong. But, uh, I mean, Antonio Brown, have yeah. A, yeah, crazy team is there. Yeah. That's, yeah. like, that's, like, cheat mode on, like, the, uh, on an, and Madden right there. Yeah, that's when you, like, move players through your team, and, like, you just, to, like, yeah, yeah someone, yeah. That's... You just got, like, Hail Mary is the only play you play. <laughs> oh, you do have one, the, uh, no, the best quarterback of all time in Tom Brady. Yeah. To throw that pass, so if anybody's gonna throw it, it's just, gonna be that man. All you got is an A or B button. For your, <laughs> and they're both to Antonio for, and for Brown. <laughs> Antonio and Brown. That's it. Yeah, you got to Antonio. Yeah, you're playing Brown. Xbox, so you're playing PlayStation. Is what is you it? change your buttons out and put A and B. Of not, he won't <laughs> play for you on on, on PlayStation. <laughs> He said a boycott is a he won't <laughs> boycott if, PlayStation. If you don't if you don't change the PlayStation buttons out <laughs> for Xbox buttons for A and B, he won't play for you on the That's a secret that's a secret that Madden just added. An yeah. update. That's an update, update that you're getting for Madden right now. That's it's what an it Xbox is. exclusive now. Yeah. It's like Gears of War, it's Xbox exclusive. You have so. to buy like a certain remote. Yeah. It looks uh, it's shaped like a PlayStation, but it has Xbox buttons on there. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, well, I mean, only, that, there's only two scary. buttons, A and B. A and B. Yet to dis- the other ones are missing. To put, in order to get to the game, you have to disconnect controllers, reconnect controllers, <laughs> and that way you can play Madden, because there's only two buttons on I it. mean, that, that is a scary team, though. I, I, didn't, I didn't, honestly, until you told me a little earlier, I didn't realize. I know that he had, like, made it known that he wanted to move, but I didn't realize that yeah, they had already made twice. it happen. Sounds like me and Jobs right now. Yeah, jeez. <laughs> Just moving I mean, but that's ridiculous. For, I don't know. I mean, I know he got into it with the GM, and they're going to suspend him. But like, that's kind of you know. Well, yeah, like stupid stuff. Though. I, I don't know Come what he, I don't even know what it's about. But I mean, it's. I mean, it's still ridiculous. I think they're giving him fifteen mil, so yellow. Fifteen extra for one year. No, oh, for, for one, year. one year. Yeah, I mean, I, well, I don't know what he was that earlier. They're. But. Re- I think they're retracting his guaranteed money from, from the Raiders. Because of what happened. I think so. I don't know, but they're retracting his guaranteed so. He, I don't know how much of the 15 is guaranteed, but it's a one-year 15 mil. So, yeah, that's cool. Yeah. And then college football is underway. I just haven't been able to watch the games, but um, I know by the time that we're recording, LSU in Texas is going to play pretty soon. Yeah. So, you know, we're recording right before 6.30 on a Saturday. Yeah, yeah. Well, that'll be a solid game to watch. And I guess by the time you listen to this, you would have already watched it. In that case... This podcast is relevant to you, and then just skip to the end for the health, for health part of the podcast. Yeah, we can just say, "Oh, it's a great game by Texas," and we'll just hope that Texas wins, and we'll see how that goes. I don't know about that. Yeah, me I mean, yeah. But, but I'm at, but we were in Texas. We yeah, have to and then support. shout out to Drew. I think he's at the game today. So oh, is shout he? Out to Drew. Oh, shout yeah. out to Drew. That is not how the game goes. Maybe we can re-update yeah, the podcast. Yeah, then he's going out to Arizona after this. So what is he going to Arizona to go for? Work Tucson, I believe. Uh, over there. Tucson is Dang. in Arizona, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so he's going to Arizona. All right, so oh, there's that. Drew. And then I'm just let me see. I'm looking at my sorry. I, uh, I sit quiet because I'm looking at my fantasy football. I think I, I I still think I have like top two strongest teams overall. Top two. I still I think I'm gonna top we'll two. We'll find out. Everyone thinks they have the best team. Everyone's talk shit. Talking. No, but I mean I mean I don't know, but like but I mean as far as players go, I definitely have yeah. a top two team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think my, my weak spot is the quarterback, and even at that, Baker and Philip Rivers are not exactly weak quarterbacks. I did a stupid mistake and left uh, Aaron Jones running back for the Green Bay Packers against the Chicago defense this week, so I did oh. terrible. Well, what did he do? Terrible, nothing. Oh, you played him? Is yeah. What I mean? You made, well, I mean, yeah. Montgomery didn't do anything for me either. He gave me like six, seven points or something yeah. like that. Uh, I guess the Chicago defense, that's, that's yeah. not going to go your way. Well, yeah, but I didn't think it was going to go that way either with Green Bay's defense and they shut down Montgomery. That's true. So yeah. It, it could go... Well, early. yeah, I guess it, you'd be surprised on how good their defense is. I didn't realize that Green Bay's defense was that good. Yeah, I mean, either. I mean, I didn't... End but then again, I don't know how good the offense really is for Chicago. I mean, they were decent well, last yeah. year for But, sure. I mean, Montgomery was going to be... Because the that's quarterback really is they still got questionable, but they have weapons on that team. Yeah. The good thing is that... I, well, I picked up the quarterback because he seemed like he was going to have a good season since the quarterback is questionable. He did pretty good last season, and so what are you going to do? You know, your ground game is probably your best bet, so I yeah. just figured that that might be my best option. Yeah. That's only until week, like, 9 or 10 when Kareem well, comes back. Well, that's what I did with with, Indi- with uh, Indiana. I picked up the running back. Indiana? Yeah, for the Colts. Yeah, well, because Andrew looks. <laughs> yeah, so I was like, no well, longer there. They might, gonna, they might use that running game a little bit more. Let's see. 
So that's why I, but I, I didn't play him this week. I should have just played him instead of, uh, well, I don't know. They're playing against the Chargers. Well, see, come on, man. Like, I got Tyreek Hill, Mike Evans, and Jarvis Landry in my receivers. Jarvis Landry is trash. No, he's not. Fantasy football trash. Well, maybe. Let's, let's put this in context because he's making millions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But fantasy football-wise. Well, then I still got Travis Kelsey at my tight end. He's the best one easily. Yeah, I'll take that. Well, him, was... him and uh, Ertz are going to be the two. I wanted to pick him up. but Yeah, he was my second pick, but I, luckily I was in a, I was lucky enough to get Travis Kelsey. And then I got Alvin Kamara, so come on, man. Like yeah. My team is pretty stacked right now. Well, and I got we'll I had Kareem Hunt. I mean, he's on suspension, but when he comes back, you know he's ready to roll. Let's find out. Until then, though, whoever has Nick Chubbs is going to be balling on that one. Well, well, yeah, well, we'll see. Cause well, actually, no, cause, yeah, we can still got Baker, Odell, team, and all this stuff. A new team playing, playing together, so. Wait, well, but Nick Chubbs, you know, he did amazing last year with him already. And they just got to, he's probably just going to get less touches because you got more, th- I mean, ability to air the ball out. Yeah. With Odell we'll now see. and all that stuff we'll going see. on. I mean, they have, a, they have a good team on paper, so. Yeah. And it's going to suck whenever they have to pay everyone. <laughs> I'm sure that is. And, it, well, what is it, um, what is it, Ty- no, yeah, Tyreek Hill just signed the extension? With. Kansas City? Yeah. Yeah. I think so. Three, yeah. three, three for three 56 years. or something yeah, like that? Yeah, three years. Some, yeah. Three something like that? Some, three fifty. I believe. That's so all that's is, a yeah. good one. Yeah. I mean, guarantees you that spot. And then you still got Patrick Mahomes. <laughs> which I, he, they actually picked him up to pick before I, I was about to pick him up. So I was extremely that upset. Always, that always happens. For I know. me in the later rounds, it's the later round picks that I'm yeah. looking at. Then they get. I know picked I picked up. one up right before you got him, and I, I forgot like, who it was. So. God damn it! Somebody on my bench, I forgot who it was, but I, I picked for... him up. I forgot. And you were, and you were like, "Fuck you!" in the chat, and I was like, oh. "Everyone, you and Alex both picked up a player right before I was gonna pick him up. I'm like two picks away. God yeah. dang it! But uh, we'll, we'll see. We'll, maybe, then... maybe this will be my year where I finally get first place and not second twice. <laughs> Your second. You're the, second the, twice. you're the playoff. You're like the Spurs. You're consistent. Yeah, I'm comp- well, except although, for the, the first year is the only one where I wasn't. I think it was like seventh out of eight. Although you're, the only thing you're lacking is a championship. Yeah, the only thing I'm lacking. But, but you know, consistency, eventually I'll get there with consistency. Sure. If you're consistently good, at some point you have to rebuild where I'm still consistent. Sure, yeah. I mean, I don't even think you made the playoffs the last two years, so I don't know what we're really... That's because I hadn't been watching football. What the hell? What do you think I do? I watched less than you. Not even. You probably watched more. I literally watched zero games last season. Zero and games? Stu- and why are you playing fantasy? Because I can do my research when I need to, but I, I watched zero games last season. I still got second. All right, all right. So, we'll see, you know, we'll see. I, I just... I, I, I look at things analytically just like I did for basketball. Everybody was looking to pick up, you know, oh, I'm going to get Steph Curry. And I was like, that's awesome. You might get a lot of points off of him. But yeah, I said, you know what? I'm going to pick up Russell Westbrook. Why? Because you get more points for rebounds and assists. The same fantasy basketball, bro. Exactly. But you look get at you look, you look at what he's going to do. for. You don't look at the player. You look at what the player is going to do for the produce. team. We'll see. Because we'll you only get, I think in basketball, you only get like 0.5 for every point you score. But you get like three for an assist yeah. and like three for a rebound. So I was like, hey, man, if I can get Russell Westbrook, who's going to give me a triple-double almost every game. He's going to get more assists and rebounds than almost every other point guard. That's going to be a win-win for me. Well, we'll see what happens now this year when he's with the Rockets. Well, yeah, we'll see. Yeah, like goes. They're gonna I mean, they're gonna change the NBA rules to two basketballs on the court, <laughs> <laughs> so Russell Westbrook can keep one the whole time, well, and, then, I, and then everyone else can play. He's still gonna rebound though, <laughs> so I'm not worried about his rebounding. He's gonna be like that guy that's uh, in the way of a pickup game that's shooting <laughs> shooting on one corner <laughs> on by his side, <laughs> and then the the game comes his way, and then he like steps out, kinda. Kind of because he's like because he's working on he's, his he's working on his shot. He's gonna, yeah, he's still, he's still gonna be shooting yeah. under them. Yeah, he's like hey bro, you're in the game. <laughs> like nah man, just warming up right now. Oh, I'm, waiting for, I'm waiting for I got next. to come on offense. I'm yeah. ready for it. I got next. He's that guy. <laughs> they're gonna have two basketballs on the court. Yeah, spe- the I mean, speaking of that, I saw uh, basketballs on the court. I saw Dwight working on his jump shot. Cool story. Cause I I'm, hope he's been working on it. Well, apparently, because I mean, I, I mean, obviously, you know why he's working on it. Because LeBron's probably telling him, "Hey, man, I'm gonna need you to start shooting some shit." Because we can't <laughs> have you breaking everything. Obviously, you know you have. Well, I hope one of the best passers working, in the game. So. I hope we have been working on it for years. Well, apparently, him he's been even working on a three ball. So that's surprising. He needs to be working on something offensively. A three ball, him and uh, Andre Drummond. I saw him shooting threes in like pickup games, and he was draining. Hey. And well, yeah. Drum, Drummond is like a well, every, 40% free throw shooter, though. But so everyone fun. looks great when they're playing, like, just random pickup games, though. Well, yeah, but he's never been able to shoot 
a damn three in his life. Like, he has a worse shot than Shaq from three in. But I think any NBA player that you see just playing, like, pickup games or just shooting their shot, like, like shots, they're going to be... You're going to be draining them way more than in a game. Well, yeah, I mean, yes, I, I agree. But, like, to the point where he was actually draining them, I don't see that happening. All right. Uh, just randomly. And, I mean, he's... Well, not because he's never had a shooting touch. He shoots, like, 40% from free throws. So, I guess Marcus so, like, Aldridge is the only one that has a, that has a post game now, offensively? Yeah, it looks like it. <laughs> no other no other big man really can, can shoot from the... From inside no. anymore, except for him. I think him. Well, Blake. Blake's pretty good. Yeah. I like Blake. Has actually been my favorite post player. Over Duncan. No, no. I mean, like right now, like currently. No. Or, Love or, to say. Well, actually, look, Aldridge has been my favorite because he has a, the best like shot. Blake. Yeah, because he learned from Duncan. Yeah. Well, I mean, he learned when in college. Likely. But like Duncan, of course, helped him. But in college, I think the his story to like his shot was that I think he like messed up his. I don't know if it was his ankle or something. Something that was like. And so he was in a wheelchair, and he was practicing shooting from a wheelchair. So shooting from down up, he had to, like, practice his arc. Mm. And that's kind of where he, like, got his shot in uh, yeah. the best well, at, when he was cool. at UT. And yeah. so I think that was his, like, story of how his shot got so damn good. That's all he had to practice. Yeah, so he all he had was shooting from a chair, so. Shooting <laughs> from a chair? Maybe we should play in a chair? I know, he was shooting from a wheelchair. We'll, so. have, uh, we'll have two basketballs on the court for one for Russell, and then we'll have a chair, so... <laughs> Mark Soldiers can sit down and shoot the ball like when he I'll shoots. I'll start a weekend for props. That's it. Do right. Add new events. I mean, I'm sure it helps to have Tim Duncan now with him and still, you know, training and learning more. Yeah, yeah. But he's getting older, man. He used to win already. He used to win a ship. Nah, they're, they got a healthy team now, so we'll see how they do going into the preseason. Yeah. But I did see DeJounte Murray working out with Chris Paul. Oh, did you? They're playing, they're playing uh, on Instagram. They have videos of of them playing with each other. Hey man, I wouldn't mind Chris Paul coming over here if the okay if OKC buys him out. That means we can literally get him for like a two mil contract because OKC will pay him the rest, just like Atlanta paid Melo. But we already have a shitload of point guards. Well, yeah, but if you put Dejounte Murray even at the two, you can run, you know, the same thing that you would run. Just move whoever you would put at the two, you know, at, to to the to the second team. So move Derek right down to the second two, and I would take Dejounte just defense on you know guarding the shooting guards all day any day. Yeah, I guess so. And then you got Chris Paul handling the ball. I mean, it's still not a bad duel. Yeah. Considering that he you know six five, he can still run a shooting guard. He's just got better defense than most of them. Unless it was a guy that looked like Chris Paul, and I'm fucking up. Maybe, but I'm, like, I'm, <laughs> but I'm pretty a, sure that was Chris Paul. I'm pretty good at getting Dejounte Murray. I'm pretty good. I'm pretty sure that was Chris Paul. Damn. So. Fucking up! You got me excited over here. Well, they—that's what I—I'm pretty sure I saw that on Instagram. So, let's see what was on that the, on the story. On or story. On what was it today? Nah, I mean it's been like ongoing. Oh, never mind. Yeah, yeah. So I mean you might be able to catch it, but it's been ongoing. No, it wasn't on there, but I'm sure we'll we'll yeah, find out. And then Khabib won today. I don't think we mentioned that Khabib won. So but this is we recorded between the time Khabib won and. The LS, Texas LSU game. Yeah, but are you really surprised though? No. Not really. But I'm just saying now that means Tony Ferguson's going to get a fighter at some point in the near future. That's a fight I've been wanting to watch for like about two years now, three years maybe. That'll be, I mean, what is he now, 28 now? Or 29, 28? Because he was 27, I think. I think he was 27 and now. Now he's 28. Well, unless he won two fights in a row, then he's 28 and now. Why? Well, but yeah, but I don't remember if that was, if he was 27 now before I saw the oh, previous yeah. fight. I can't remember. I think he was 27 now coming into this one, so it might be 28 now. Now, yeah, once he gets you on that ground game, like he, I think he was like a two-time world champion or something like that in in grappling. He is 28 and no now. Yeah, 28 and no. But, ah, damn, he's a monster. Yeah, he's. But Tony Ferguson's the one I want to see fight him. So. So you think? Well, how do you think that one ends up? I don't you, know. You you think it's like a you know there's there's a better chance of him losing that fight? Um, in in betting terms, would you bet against him? No, nah. no, nah. no. But I also like. But I wouldn't the, rule it out. I also like. I also like his chances. I guess. I mean, I I, I would you give a seventy thirty, which is better than most fights against Khabib. Yeah. Seventy thirty for Ferguson. Um, I guess so. It depends on if it goes to the ground or not. So. You definitely know Khabib's aiming for that one, but you need to, if you're betting, you're betting before you know what's going on. So 7-30 seems fair, considering that that's more than I would give almost anybody else against Khabib. 
Let's see. What are you looking for now? Now I'm just looking... Because I thought there was a... One of the fighters from the valley was fighting at that card. And that's all I was looking it up right now. Oh, I couldn't tell you about that one. I don't know. I know you can't. Uh, but yeah. Um, let's see. Um, anything else in sports right now? I think that's what we got so far. I'm sure we're missing something. Oh, LaShawn McCoy is with the Chiefs now. Oh, yeah? yeah. And then um, the the uh, Houston. What about Houston? They, who they pick up as a running back? She, I don't know. I, I saw him on, on a draft, but I forgot what it was. Carlos Hyde, that's who it was. Oh. I was like, I saw him in the draft, I just didn't up. realize. They picked well, up that's Carlos still, That's Hyde. not a terrible I don't know if anyone either. picked him up or not. I don't think so. Did anyone pick but him I'm up? But I'm going to go look at it now. So <laughs> well, you better do it now. I'm pretty sure someone already picked him up, but well, we got we still gotta see how much you're gonna give him the yeah. ball though, because you still got Hopkins as a receiver. Yeah. You still got Watson. Well, I mean, you need something on the ground. Um, and then the um, what was I gonna say? Ah, uh, I lost my train of thought. Yeah. Uh, I went to the Sugarland football game last night. Oh yeah, how'd that go? For all the Rattlers out there, I think I'm gonna start going to the Diamondback and Rattler game. So we'll probably do a little post on that. Uh, not good, not good. It didn't go well. Not well. Um, but they were playing a six A team in McAllen Memorial. So, uh, larger six A now. A larger school? No, Sugarland isn't. They're not no, Memorial six A. They are. They Jeez. are. They should be right. I have no clue. I didn't know about that. I mean, I've always known they were five people. But... Yeah, they sh- well because the the six A is. Now the, what, the former 5A when you were around is. Yeah. Well, it doesn't look like Carlos Heights can, has great projections anyways. So, yeah, I went to the game. Not a good, not a good turnout. Uh, so, or not, not a good, uh, not a good outcome, I should say. Not a good outcome at all. Uh, but they played a bigger school, a talented school, so... Not the team that was once there, once upon a time when you were there? Well, I mean, it's, it's different, because you're, that's, I mean, you're playing, like, a, it's like, it's like fighting a weight class above you, like, it's tough, but I guess it gets you, gives you, like, the, the experience of what a tough team is like. Does that still count for the record? It counts, but it's not district, so... Yeah, okay, okay, that's what I was wondering, it's not a district record then, okay, that's not bad. Yeah, so it's it's not district. I think that's I think that sums up everything we have, at least so far for sports. Yeah. No, it was a good it was a good game. Then, eventually, I do want to start uh, ho- sooner than later um, doing some interviews with coaches once we have like the uh, the audio set up. For, so for the video. I have the stu- mini studio set up so we can add the video yeah, yeah. to it. All we just all we need is like a a, a small mic and then yeah, yeah. I found that one. I'll, I'll so show it to you after. Doing that. And then did you upload your your business already online? Yes. What did you tell us? Well, I, I, I just did it a couple of days ago, but I, I posted, well, it it's terrible about, marketing. Well, I already posted about it and everything. You're not keeping up with it, and that's you know you're not keeping well, up. Well, maybe with you need to post more about it. Well, I just did it like yesterday, or no, the day before yesterday. Well, start, yeah, then I guess we need to start uh, uploading that a little bit more now. So, give us a website. Give us the, uh, that way we can put it on the, on the notes. Yeah, yeah. On oh. the description notes I'll of send, the podcast. I'll send that to you. Um, well, tell us, tell us what it is. Right, well, I told you. About. You uh, did tell it's us. It's going but, to be, well, it is not going to be. It is. A terrible promoter. It is. You're like, oh, I told you about, store. I told you about my, my business once and that's it. Well, no, I, I mean, I, 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 I think you were up, asking to put it in the notes, but I had to give it to you. No, no, no. So it, it, it's, uh, it's wolfpack.store and it's a wolf, uh, W-O-O-F pack. So wolf like a dog wolf, yeah. wolf pack dot store. And yeah. That's where we're at right now. I've got a couple orders already, so it's it's well, that's good. It's going. Yeah. It's so going. it's going, but we need a, a build. Guess, yeah, of course. And this is a a long game. This isn't a overnight success. It's something you build up. Um, but the cost for this is is to help out people that that want to want to adopt a, a pet but don't have the financial. 
um, the finances to the do finances, so. I guess so. Yeah, it can be, it can be expensive. Yeah, it's yeah. It's, so uh, so from the revenue that you make, a portions portion of it, a percentage of it is going to go towards helping people adopt pets um, around the country, around the state, around the city, around the valley. Around everything. I mean, I'm starting off off local because okay, I, I know that I know that our shelters are pretty packed right now. So I'm yeah. going to start off here and then. Okay. Um, when at, at some point I'm just going to start picking people who like previously ordered and just yeah. ask them, you know what, um, where would you like for me to send the adoption to? And so I can yeah. just call or get in contact with that shelter and say, Hey, next person who comes up, maybe I can help them or, yeah. you know, ask them if, you know, they would be interested or somebody nice. send me an email. There's a lot of ways that I can do that. Yeah. And so I'm going to, I'm going to, that's how I'm going to handle that one. And awesome. And hopefully every, every, like every other week, I'm just going to like sum up. The sales and then a percentage of all of that is going to be used for toys and stuff to donate to other shelters yeah. as well. So, so this podcast gonna, is brought to you by Wolfpack. Dot by Wolfpack. Dot store. Dot store. Dot store. Wolfpack. So store. I've already contacted uh, actually like two of the shelters and I said that they do take donations. So nice. I already got that set up and awesome. as soon as we get to that uh, point of the yeah. sales, and I'll just start ordering and taking those toys personally to help them out yeah and if you listen from an iphone like the description limits me to how many characters i can use so it's going to be hard putting the description and putting like the links to stuff so on on i on the ipod stuff or the or not ipod damn i'm dating myself on the on the ipod on the apple apple store i believe or the apple podcast communication because i'm a galaxy guest i don't know what apple uses they limit me so i'm gonna i'm probably gonna limit like the description of the podcast but i'm gonna put more of the links up there yeah because i ju- uh, today what i did is just apply to my website uh to for elite athlete so elite athlete's gonna be my physical therapy for for athletes around the valley since that's where i'm located and i'm gonna work towards uh towards working with local schools local businesses that would send their athletes elsewhere so what i'm gonna do is actually work with your athletes and then i'd like to work with like your per- your personal trainers work with your coaches work with your athletic trainers to get better results to get athletes on the field faster um so that all event i'm still going through all like the legal stuff all the all the licenses that i need for the state so bear with me but eventually i've got the website that i paid for today uh, it's not up yet but i paid for it so now i need to build that website on WordPress, uh, shout out to WordPress for hooking it up. WordPress, WordPress. is that uh, is that another sponsor for us? Nah, <laughs> not yet. No, nah, not sponsor. But <laughs> shout out to WordPress anyway. Shout out to WordPress because that's from uh, and it's called Elite Athlete Dot Online. Dot Online. Yeah, Elite Athlete Dot Online. Is that already? Elite Athlete Dot Com was taken. And it yeah, probably sure. cost thousands of dollars. Yeah, probably. So we're gonna go with Elite Athlete yeah. Dot Online because that costs like two bucks a year to host. <laughs> so yeah. But all you have to do is click on, click on the link and it will take you there. But um, working through all the legal stuff and eventually getting like the bank bank and my documentation uh, documentation system set up with it. So hopefully within the next two months we have something going legally. But I mean, if you need uh, any advice, let me know. Um, what I'm gonna do once the website is up and running, I'm gonna try to get like a like a like the podcast, the the health, sports, and Hispanics podcast. Um, almost like a, a blog or platform or forum to where you can ask a health related question, whether it be nutrition or, or towards injury. Um, and then we're going to do our best to answer that question or pick a question out of those questions that we get from, from that post that I'm going to put on my website, eliteathlete.com. And then we're going to answer it on the podcast. That way we could have a, we could have stream it through YouTube, um, have clips on Instagram through the elite athlete Instagram whenever I build that up and then have it through the podcast. So do our best to help help the help the community out. Sorry, I'm lost of words. Yeah. Help the community out. So the goal, my goal for this was to eventually uh, be in a position where I can provide pro bono pro bono work, right? To or to where if an athlete cannot afford have the health care services of a physical therapist I'm willing uh, to actually help out young athletes around the, the valley with that. Um, so all this is going to be geared towards eventually being able to, to, to do that. Uh, 
so once I get the website going, I'll have the, it should be sometime within the next month, have like a blog for, for the podcast on there where you can ask questions and then we can answer it the best we can without giving like direct advice because we, be, even being a healthcare professional, I still would still need to evaluate you and do, do, go through the, go through a, a screening process to give you the advice best advice. given to context. Yeah, advice, exactly, yeah. The best advice I can give you without actually diagnosing you, without look, seeing you. Yeah. Uh, but still, where it's something that's helpful for everyone. And we can, we can put it, uh, put it on my website for eliteathlete.online. Yeah, yeah. I have the forum or the blog on there. That way we can communicate through it, pick the questions from there, and then bring them onto the podcast. Yeah, sounds good. Um, cool. Where else? Where were we? Oh yeah, going into the health. So, you just gave me the a pre workout. Yeah, MTS Clash. MTS Clash, and so that yeah, was what half half off. You said. Well, I, I think like ultimately that's what I got it for. But it was a Labor Day sale that they had. Labor Day sale. Shout out to Labor Day sales. Yeah, Labor Day sale. I think it was like twenty percent. But like after everything was added up, basically that one came out to me for like half off. All right. So I got my. My my pre workout and I or I ordered one for you because I know that you aren't gonna buy one. Uh, yeah, one. I've been I've been looking at them and like yeah. Nah. But I decided that I was gonna get it for you because this is quality stuff and All the right. ingredients are important in pre workouts. Most right. more in post workouts of course, but pre workouts are still important as far as ingredients go. And the ones that you're getting on sale are not likely high quality ingredients. Yeah. So. Um, I wanted to get you some good stuff and something that I, I believe and this All is right. actually like the I would say this is the only the second like the second best brand behind advanced the AML one that we got a double yeah. rush from. Advanced think, molecular yeah, labs. Yeah, advanced molecular Shout out labs. To advanced molecular labs. I think that that's the best one I've seen just because the doses are a little bit higher and they're like fully dosed. But yeah. it's definitely like a second no doubt in my mind, this is like the second best one that I've I've seen. Um, personally, so I, I love it, and really half a scoop with this one does a trick for me. So all right, so I'll probably be taking a quarter of a scoop. Yeah, I, I like half a scoop, and it, la it lasts me a long time. I tried the full scoop, but man, that hit me so hard. I said, you know what, I need to do half. And so, so yeah, we're sticking with the pre workout, uh, pre workout theme from yeah. like the previous podcast. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna hit you with the with the random question. Let's go over some macros for me because I need a the past three weeks having to take my final for for my fellowship. Um, being like in the middle of like building this business up and creating everything and learning everything there is to be about building a business that is rough and exhausting and annoying. Uh, I haven't been able to work out as much as I would want to. So I've worked out maybe like lately it's getting back up to normal, but I was working out maybe two, three days out of the week the past like two three weeks now i'm getting back to normal working out but i know i have to start back from basics like i have to bring like bring back my my lifting down to like not as heavy as i was doing because i know yeah. i'm gonna end up hurting myself which i want to my ego wants to go in there and like just pick that weight up where it was before at the same speed at the same weight but when i pick it up i'm like yeah let's just wait a little bit yeah let's yeah. just give it like another month to build back up yeah i've been there um, actually i'm there right but now, i'm like so. but on in the process i've also gained a little bit of extra weight so macros right now i'm like at 194 last time i checked i'm lighter but i think it's <laughs> because i lost muscle yeah so well i mean as far as macros i would just have to obviously do the calculations for them i'm not doing no keto bullshit no vegan bullshit yeah we don't do that i'm going just for macros i'm going off science macros right, well, we, well i i mean i would have to calculate those obviously i mean okay. i can just give you random numbers no random numbers obviously Sam. but i mean obviously I, I i but i know for a fact that i'm going to put your your protein probably around like the 195 to 205 like give you a range right, of where right, you right. should be because i'm gonna go shopping like tomorrow that. morning at heb shout out to local hebs out oh, there yeah um, actually that's a good thing because i think this week it got 10 percent off all the uh, own brands so you get an extra right. 10 percent off all well, the hb do you, brands you got that DC, yeah, DC I do. for me i do all right all oh, right so you get 20 with that one because it's already 10 automatically yeah. then 10 more solid, with the, solid. so you get 20 on that one all right so uh, yeah i'm gonna go tomorrow morning so i need i need like a I guess a rough summit for the podcast, but then afterwards we'll talk a little bit more. I mean, yeah, the, the um, 
the protein, like I said, it's going to be, def, since you're 184, I'm definitely going to put that probably in the 185 to 205 okay. range, like just to give you a range. I can take care of, I can take care of the little, the little details of, uh, as far as food is concerned myself, but, um, so 185 to 200. That's, yeah, 185 right. to 205 is kind of like what I'm going to just base it off. And then really the rough, bat. rough range. We'll talk at detail numbers later. Yeah. And so that's just like a range. Um, and I like to give ranges because a lot of the time when you give people specific numbers, they focus on getting that exact number and that's yeah. not realistic. The fact that you're right. perfectly going to be able to measure food to get 194, 195 grams, it's not very realistic. Yeah. To the T, it's not going to be realistic. So as long as you're within this range to this range, you're safe to me. Okay. And so we like to give ranges because your mind doesn't like obsess over getting the exact amount and you know, All right. you're safe. Um, and really the fats and carbs are going to come just to where the, what you like. Yeah. So if you like a like, uh, you, that protein that like 194 to 205 is going to be somewhere between 30 and 35% range. Right. So you have like play with the rest 30, of the percentages. So you can do like 30 and 35% on proteins. I mean on carbs or yeah. fats. So it's like if you want I probably, more carbs. I probably want to do more carbs though. So then you can do like 35, 35 and then 30 on fats. So yeah. You can do like 35, 40 if you want to do like high carb yeah. or, you know. So it really just depends on how you want that to be. But usually I just do like 35, 35 and 30 okay. for fats. Sounds that's good. just my liking because I know my yeah. body. Yeah, and that's what I had before my ratios and we talked about it before. Um, all right, so that's where I'll look into, and into then that more. Just rough guesstimating that will like likely put your carbs also between like 185 and 205 since they're both going to be 35%. Right. Yeah. And then your fats are probably just rough guesstimation somewhere between 70 and 80. Yeah. That's so what that's, I was that's before. Probably, that's my, my range because yeah. mine right now, mine at 30%. Are at about seventy four, so yeah, I would I would say some years are probably going to be somewhere between that. Yeah, and, and this is just me wanting to feed my body the proper nutrition to get the best results within the next couple of weeks to get myself in a better position to be back to where I was maybe a month and a half ago. So you, to be an elite to, athlete again. To be an elite. Mm. I wouldn't call an myself athlete. an athlete, but it's a to get it's, it to was elite, marketing tool, man. to, to be it. elite, as a former athlete, <laughs> to be an elite. It's EFA now. Elite, elite position. Former athlete. Has been, elite former <laughs> has been athlete. Hey, man, you can still be athletic to and be not be an again. athlete. Be elite again. Be elite again. Be great. There you go. Be that, elite. That, that's your slogan until you reach yeah. your make, desired goal. Make the Valley elite again. Make the Valley elite again. Let's go. There you go. Make hats, that's make shirts. Tell your mom, tell your dad, <laughs> hey, hey, to me, everyone's an athlete, there you so go. let's go. Yeah, well, uh, Anyone that wants that. to get better, I'm, a, I'm all about it. And I also do personal training and uh, sports performance. Yeah, all yeah, right. it's definitely going to be the best one. Yeah, and then we got to talk about the stuff that I want to buy. Anyways, uh, anything else before we take off? No. All right, we're going to go to barbecue, so se yeah. bañan, <laughs> get enough sleep, get enough nutrition. Get water. Go to wolfpack.store. Yes. Eliteathlete.online Online. is coming soon. Esto por hoy terminamos. Dale. Watching football. Dale.